how we doing out there? This is William J. with another episode of Talking in the Attic. It's a beautiful day regardless of whatever the weather you're experiencing. Because, man, you got to think about it. You're alive, healthy, or you're restoring your health. And most importantly, you're right here with me. Now, I hope you've had a chance to pick up a copy of my first book, Why Not?, which is available on Amazon. It's offered in paperback, ebook. You know, and if you haven't, check out my previous episodes of my podcast and subscribe so you can be alerted when the latest material is released. My pod is available on Google, Apple, Spotify, Anchor, Radio Public, and a number of other platforms I can't think of at the moment. My apologies. But and again, please subscribe and grab 400 copies of my book. I would truly appreciate it. Now, I'm continuing the theme for this season where In the first episode, I began speaking on success, obstacles and sacrifices. Now, the next segment, I was speaking on about what it takes to be great. And I followed that up with the what's necessary to continue your journey, you know, to reach your goals. Now, today, I want to talk to you about something that's overlooked and uh, it should become a priority in your life, which is setting boundaries for yourself. Now, I can remember for a portion of my life, I made the mistake of not setting boundaries. You see, I was just going with the flow, allowing people to impede upon my space without regard. And what I began to discover is not only was that unhealthy, but it was very disrespectful because people would disregard my personal space, feelings, and that created a slippery slope of situations to come. Now, over time, I began to assess how these situations would leave me feeling. And in doing so, I began to create these solid, unwavering boundaries. Now, to be clear, nowadays, seriously, I will leave you talking to the wind. And if you haven't, I implore you to start establishing your own set of personal boundaries. And check this out. When you do your boundaries, they're going to define not only the physical and emotional limits of appropriate behavior between you and relationships, They're going to also help define where one person ends and the other begins. Now, you got to remove unnecessary clutter, people and just nonsense because you're worth more. You do not deserve this. And check this out. In doing so, it's going to free your mind, your time, personal space and all of that unwanted hassle and garbage in your life. It's going to remove the BS and you're going to start extending your time with the pleasures in life so you can enjoy your peace and those, you know, the people who deserve your time and all the qualities that you possess. See, boundaries, they help you foster well-being, self-control and self-esteem. Now, look, we all have hangups and issues to deal with. And before I take any steps further pointing the finger you got to also understand that there's somebody who has the set a uh, set of boundaries for you being involved in, your, in their life yeah i'm talking about you you're a trigger for somebody right at this moment you're not immune we're all human and we're annoying as fuck don't act like you're too special to be in this category your special ass is probably disrespecting people's boundaries all the time without thinking much about it or even being aware now Boundaries, they don't need to be explained. They don't need to be justified or defended by you or anyone else. Seriously, boundaries, they protect your personal and mental space. So look, when you're about to set boundaries, here's a few things to consider. Think about goal setting. Think about starting small, being clear, practicing your boundaries and keeping it simple. Because you got to start asking yourself, what is the goal when I'm setting a boundary or when I need to set a boundary? Because you got to think about it. A lot of the times when you start doing this, it's uncomfortable. And the key is to start small and focus on one thing at a time. And when you do, you want to focus on what you want as clearly as possible, because most of the time when you start doing this, it's going to make you nervous. You're going to have a little bit of anxiety. So you might want to write it out, say it beforehand and practice it to yourself and pick the main thing that's bothering you and focus on that. You see, setting boundaries that can provide balance in your life. So now if you're curious about some additional info about setting boundaries, I got you. Here's some more. Boundaries help you avoid burnout. They help you with having less resentment towards people. And like I said, It provides balance. Now, here, here's some more meat to that. A lot of time you may find yourself doing way too much for somebody. And when you're doing that, that can produce burnout. 
And when you set these boundaries, it can help you eliminate or reduce the burnout because giving and helping other people, that's a strength. But when it turns into doing too much for others, you may start feeling resentment when it's not reciprocated. So when you set these boundaries, you're setting boundaries around what you're capable of and it can help you reduce or eliminate that resentment. Now, sometimes these boundaries, we need to set them within ourselves. For example, it looks like a great escape to sit here and just binge watch a bunch of shows on Netflix, Paramount Plus or whatever app you want to choose. But when you're staying up too late, it's leading to exhaustion and you have to start setting a boundary with yourself to go to bed because, again, you need that balance, that healthy sleep, that rest. That's the balance that you need, you know, and boundaries. Yeah, they can be challenging, but they're good for you and the people around you. Now, when you're clear about your boundaries, people are going to understand your limits and know what you are and aren't okay with, and they'll adjust to your behavior. And those who disrespect your boundaries, those are the ones who you don't want in your life. Now, you should not make any exceptions to that behavior, you know, because that's unacceptable for your boundaries. And look, I can't emphasize that enough. And that's something that I'm going to head out on. You got to understand, seriously. The only people who get upset about you setting boundaries are the ones who are benefiting from you not having any. Seriously. And that's the truth. Start establishing boundaries. You'll find more peace, more balance and just more time to yourself and understand the things that you need or that's necessary for you in your life. Again, it's William J. Talking to Addict. I'm gone. (music) 